Hi, this is Scott Allen Miller here with Sam IT on YouTube. And today I'm going to talk about uh, certifications and how to approach them within IT. We talk about certifications in IT probably more than most fields, certainly far more than fields like software engineering, to which IT is relatively closely related. There are certs in SE, for example, but they're few and far between, and you would not expect someone who is working as a professional developer, even with a lot of experience, to have more than one or two. It's just not something you typically get. You might become really focused on a specific technology and pick one up just because you want to show your focus on that technology, but in general, you're not going to spend a lot of time working towards certs. It just doesn't make sense. IT is different. IT of all fields is one of the most heavily cert focused that there is. Uh, partially, this is because unlike a lot of fields, IT is very, very strongly associated with the vendors with which you are working, and vendors are the people who make the majority of certifications. This is partially because it helps them promote that there are people in the field who are versed in supporting their products. It also helps them get training out there to make sure that people are aware of how to work with their products. And so it becomes part of a marketing scheme for the most part, and it also helps them reduce the cost of supporting their own products when third parties are out there already trained and often they make money on the training. They provide the training, they provide the certification, they provide the books and uh, just the certification path itself promotes the products by making people who are adamant about promoting those products because they're trained on them. Companies want to use them because people who are trained on them are available and so forth. It's a, it's a big ecosystem. So certifications have a big place in IT and we expect to see them and we expect them to continue. It is important to be aware that the majority of certifications are product focus, focused and they're from vendors. Some are not, but the majority are. And this means that when you're uh, thinking about certifications, you're not thinking about them as certified you as an IT professional, you're thinking about them certifying you as being prepped on a specific product and from both sides, hiring and uh, IT professionals need to be aware that that's really what we're looking at. If you get, for example, the Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, this is telling people that you are aware of Microsoft's products, Microsoft's way of working with their products, and the things that Microsoft wants you to know in a Microsoft way. It doesn't mean that you're a better IT professional than someone who's not certified or doesn't use those products. It simply means that you've been trained in a certain way and certified on very specific products for that path. They are very useful and um, they're, they're something that I think uh, is important to the field and should continue. But I think when we're looking at certifications, whether you're an employer or an IT pro, it's important to understand where their real value uh, exists. The biggest value is as an IT pro and as an educational path tool. When you're approaching certifications, yes, getting the certification itself, putting it on your resume, telling employers that you're passionate or trained or versed in a specific product or technology is great. You do want to do that, and you'll probably want to have a lot of certs on your, uh, under your belt over the course of your career, so great. But to really get value out of the majority of certs, what you want to be doing is taking the time to take that cert and use it to guide you in your personal educational journey, right? So I'll just use the MSCSE as the Microsoft MCSE as a example, one that I like a lot. Um, and I did the MCSE myself, of course, a long time ago in the 1990s. Um, and did it in this way and found it immensely valuable. I never got a job, I never got a raise, I never got anybody ever to tell me that they were impressed by the fact that I had the MCP, the MCP plus I, the MCSE, or even the MCSE plus I, 50% more work than the MCSE before the MCSE was lowered to where the MCSA used to be. Like, this used to be a lot of work, nine major certifications just to get to the MCSE plus I. It was crazy. Nobody cared, absolutely nobody cared. However, it was incredibly valuable for me. And the reasons it was valuable for me was one, it taught me everything that Microsoft wanted me to know as an IT professional working with their technologies about their thought processes. I learned how Microsoft was approaching things. I learned what Microsoft thought was important for me to know. I learned what Microsoft wanted me to know to be prepared for the next iteration of Windows because they build that stuff into the certification. It's there. You may not come out and say it, but it's guiding you on your career path with them in a way that if you uh, stay with the certifications, you can assume pretty safely that you're going to continue on the best path with that vendor. And so, and Microsoft has a huge vested interest in making sure that their trained professionals don't just keep working with Microsoft, but are happy happy and successful and keep pushing the Microsoft vision. And all vendors are like this, right? This is part of their biggest value of doing certifications. So they're going to make sure that you get what you need in the way that makes sense for them and for you for the most part. 
that was huge. The next piece was by going through Microsoft's guidance on uh, the career path, on the study path, there was so many things that I would never have explored on my own. I could have picked up books on all these technologies. I could have Googled it, well, not at the time, and put the pieces together, but I wouldn't have known what to look for. I wouldn't have uh, been confident that I was doing things the Microsoft way. I would have skipped over things. I would have missed things I didn't know to look for. And there's a ton of things that I would not have bothered learning because I would have said, well, I'm not gonna use this. I can't picture where I'm gonna use this. I don't see why it's relevant to me. I would have skipped over it and not learned it and in many cases that may be fundamental to something else that you don't realize later because especially while you're a student uh, whether that's a you know actual like high school student or a 50 year old who is just advancing their career and, and continuing student um, there's so many things that you may just skip over because you don't know why you would learn them and yet it would have been really valuable and so that it, because you have to know it for the certification or you're going to miss that stuff and things may build on it so that forced learning path can be an incredible amount of value if you do things like go to training classes and boot camps to get ready for a certification you are very likely to miss most of this stuff I highly recommend self-study and that's what makes certifications the best not every certification allows that and I would question the value of a lot of certifications that don't but the majority of good industry certifications allow you to go get a book or many books and resources and and acquire products to work on and build a home lab or a lab at the office and work through them learning one step at a time one thing at a time and advance yourself to a point where you're able to pass the exam organically you're not studying for the exam you are learning the material of the certification and then able to pass the exam simply because you know the material that's where the biggest value is when you come out of a certification process like that one it's generally immensely cheaper than other approaches I can get through the MCSE for like, I don't know, $500 worth of resources. And that's if I'm getting good books. If I'm going with like Googling stuff, you can get even cheaper, but get books. Books are valuable. Uh, and they can be digital books. That's fine. Learn the material through the books. Really get to know it. Build your, in this case, Microsoft product uh, examples, right? Get They have evaluation additions to their software. Download it. Build a Windows server. Build a Windows desktop. Build an imaging system. Build a WSUS machine. Build an IIS machine. Build an exchange server. Do all the things they want you to do during that certification process. Do it over and over again. Build it in different configurations install different file systems, do those things by hand yourself. Don't read about them, do them. And by doing them and having that book that guides you through the process, helps you keep from having gaps in your knowledge, and it helps ha you, when you're doing it by hand with your own lab, keeps you from having gaps in your experience. Put the two together and you have a really complete knowledge package and a really complete skills package and experience package. That's what you really get is an incredible amount of value out of a certification education process. It is a piece of guidance given to you by a vendor. Now, that is not the only thing you can do in the field. Of course, IT is not driven by vendors. We are our own discipline with our own best practices and the things that vendors teach you do not always line up with that. So you need to do the same things in other ways with other resources, but the certifications themselves offer this incredible amount of value on their own that should not be overlooked and I highly recommend them. They were one of the great things that I did 20 plus years ago when I uh, switched my career back over from software engineering to IT. I did a lot of certifications, over 150 actually, and did them all in this way. Never took a class, never looked it up online, got books, did it all in my home lab. And the amount of things that I learned was incredible because each vendor, each product guided me to a different thing. And I was able to put those pieces together and understand more about not just the individuals, but how they all played together and how different companies took different approaches and how things were not universal and what things were universal. So there's a lot of benefit there. So I highly recommend certifications in general, but not for the sake of getting the paper at the end, but for the path of getting there because it's the education that matters, not the certification for the majority of cases. There, there are exceptions uh, and having the certification is not bad. Once you've done the learning, get the certification. Absolutely, put it on your resume, be proud of it, show it off. But when you go to a resume, uh, when you take your resume to an interview, don't say, look, I'm certified as an MCSE. Woo, no. You talk about how you got books, didn't take a class, built a lab, installed everything, did it all on your own, learned the material, did it all by hand over and over again, and that how you know, soup to nuts, real world, how they did it. That's what's impressive. It's not the cert, it's the talking point and the story of your education and what makes you more valuable. You can get so much more out of that cert. If your story is, I went to a boot camp, I memorized a bunch of stuff over a weekend, passed it, and I don't remember any of it now, that's not a good story for your interview. But 
you can create great stories with certifications. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends. I think this is a really important uh, career educational video. And uh, I'm going to be posting this, of course, later on uh, mangolossi.it, the online IT peer-to-peer -peer community where you can discuss this and other topics, uh, meet with other IT pros, and learn how they got to where they are in their field or what they would recommend for you, growth, technology, everything. Talk about it there. Thank you.